If you haven't had an opportunity to watch Avengers Age of Ultron, stop listening now, major spoilers, here we go. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we're back. We're talking about Avengers Age of Ultron. Uh, this is going to be a really quick review, maybe five to ten minutes. That's what we'll shoot for, and I'll try to remain calm. <laughs> Let's talk about the good stuff. We got introduced to Wakanda and Vibranium. Black Panther. Let's just go ahead and call it that. Black Panther wasn't in Avengers Age of Ultron, but just the mentioning of Wakanda and the Vibranium, it gets you excited as a you know comic book fan, um, as a fan of Black Panther, and just the potential that the Marvel Cinematic Universe has going into Phase 3. We're nearing the end of Phase 2. Uh, Ant-Man comes out in a short while, and we will end this very, very horrible phase two. It's been very frustrating for me, and I just haven't enjoyed the Marvel Cinematic Universe in a very long time, and I'm just ready for something new. Now that Avengers Age of Ultron is over with, and Ant-Man is coming, I'm removing myself from the Marvel Cinematic Universe, meaning that I would no longer review, I would no longer talk about, I would no longer participate in anything that has to do with Marvel Comics. Meaning that, until something changes in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, I can't support it with my money. My hard-earned money. I can't support it any longer, because the quality of film that's coming out, that's being pushed out into the public, at a, such an enormous rate, such a rapid rate that just really gets you frustrated because it's like there was a time when Disney used to push out a whole bunch of cartoon movies, Disney pictures and little animated films, but the quality was always good. And it seems as if something's happened. And if you look at Disney's history, Anytime they had a part two, besides Toy Story, but like Cinderella part two, or Pocahontas part two, um, All Dogs Go to Heaven part two, any of the, the Lion King part two, I mean, you can keep going on and on and on. It seems as if it's just going downhill, and I, and I, I just can't, I can't do it anymore. I can't do it anymore. It's, it's uh, the pain of my soul. <laughs> the pain of my soul is what they've taken away from me. As you can see, what's hanging right over here is, you know, you have Man of Steel, obviously, for Superman, but as far as for the uh, Avengers are concerned, you have Black Widow. You know, she her banner's hanging um, and displaying very proudly. That character deserves a lot more respect than what was given in Avengers Age of Ultron, and I just, I, I'm not going to stand by it. I, I just can't. And for the Incredible Hulk, I'm a very huge fan of the Incredible Hulk. That's that's one of my favorite, um, all-time favorite Marvel um comic book characters and I just I just can't do it. I can't do it. You know, this this um this movie struck a nerve in me. And instead of just I don't know, going on a rant like I've done before, <laughs> I I'm gonna try to do something more productive, man. Um what the Marvel Cinematic Universe has provided us with um is Black Panther with Wakanda and the Vibranium, which is really, really awesome. I really enjoyed that. They have opened up the door for the Civil War to start. Um, they've also introduced a, um, how do you want to say it, a subplot with Thor where he's going to find some information about the Infinity Gauntlet. But Avengers Age of Ultron, um, it wasn't the sequel that I thought it would be. It wasn't, it, it just wasn't good. And that's all I can really say about it. I can go into the many, many reasons, but all it's going to do is just bring me pain and frustration. And I, I'm just not in the mood to, uh, to do that. So what I will do is uh, let you guys know that um, my Avengers collection will be on sale very, very soon on my eBay channel. I'm also going to be having a couple of giveaways where I'm giving away um, some of the unopened Avengers movies, just in case there's somebody out there that hasn't seen Avengers or just wants a copy of those. Um, a lot of my Avengers comics and stuff like that will be available also. Um, I'm pulling out. This is, my, this is my video, just to let you guys know that I'm done. 
I'm officially over it. Um, it's really sad when a cinematic movie from Marvel cannot beat a television series like Daredevil or season two of Agents of Shield. It just doesn't. It just doesn't make any sense to me. And and I've seen this happen, you know, from Iron Man three, Thor: The Dark World, um, Guardians of the Galaxy. But after watching Avengers: Age of Ultron, I think that Marvel really sabotaged and sacrificed the Avengers movie just to make Guardians of the Galaxy, um, Captain America: The Winter Soldier, to make those movies look good. I, I really do believe that now, um, and I'm gonna have a video talking about that. It's just something that I have to get out of my uh, my system, man, because I just feel like something something went wrong, and I don't know. I mean, <clears throat> we're talking about we're talking about Whedon here. We're not talking about any other director. We're talking about someone that at one point cared about female characters with Buffy, the Vampire Slayer, and to see what he did to Black Widow on screen, to to place her in a cage and have her being rescued by the Avengers. It, I, I just I don't know, man. I don't know, just, just even thinking about it gets me frustrated, and I'm not going to go into that, man, but something has to change inside the cinematic universe to get me back. Um, I'm not purchasing any Phase 2 items. Um, the only Phase 2 item that I actually uh, own is Captain America the Winter Soldier. Uh, I'm not purchasing any sort of um, cinematic universe for Phase 2, a box set or anything like that. Not going to happen. I'm not having a giveaway for that. I'm done. Completely done, man. I'm going to take my uh, attention and shift it over to Batman v Superman in the DC Comics Cinematic Universe. I will say this, though. Um, as a Marvel comic fan, I do appreciate what, what you know the Marvel Cinematic Universe did in trying to address the collateral damage. Um, it was pretty cool. You wasted a lot of screen time, but I understand why you did it. And, you know, I think any comic book fan can appreciate that. You can't save everyone, and that's what um, Ultron said. You know, you can't save every single person. Um, there's going to be billions that die inside of a, you know, a war, inside of a, a cinematic universe. That's just how it is. You can try your damnedest um, to evacuate the city and do everything according to protocol, but people are going to die. That's just the way it is. Um, I think that you should have just let Ultron say that and then just stop with everything else, man, and just have your Avengers, you know, be Avengers. They don't have to really announce to the world or to the audience that's, that's viewing the movie that they're going to, you know, rescue the city or do anything like that. It's just unnecessary stuff, man. But all in all, I got to give the movie 6.5 out of 10 stars on Facebook, on my Facebook page. And I'm also going to put it in the description box. You'll see my whole entire little review that I wrote up for Avengers Age of Ultron. Um, that's, that's pretty much all I'm going to read. Um, that's, all, that's the only thing I'm going to say about it. I don't have anything else to say. I don't care what you do with this video. I don't care if you comment. I don't care if you like. I don't care if you subscribe. I don't care. I just I wanted to get this out, and uh, I feel a lot better. Um, other than that, that's it, guys. Um, I appreciate you guys, man. As always, my subs, you guys are amazing, man. Um, I'm sorry. I really do apologize, man, but they forced my hand. It's not my fault. Marvel forced my hand. There's nothing else that I can say, man. We're out of here, guys. Thanks again for watching, listening. Comment, like, subscribe. Don't share this video, don't like this video, don't do anything else with this video, but um, check out some of my other videos and uh, look for those items to be posted on my eBay page um, and look for the links on Twitter or Facebook for all that stuff. That stuff will be shipped out really, really soon and we're out of here, guys.